Hey guys, welcome back to the Struggleville YouTube channel. You're looking at my most recent garage sale haul. And that plain old box there, that ain't empty. That thing's full, man. Bunch of tools inside there. So I actually got this all at one garage sale and I paid 20 bucks for everything. So for me, that was an amazing deal. Lots of good stuff. We're gonna go through all of it, see what all it's worth and kind of take a gander at what I got. At first, I was looking at the Nothing had prices on it. I was looking at the snowblower there, and I didn't ask for price or nothing. The guy walks up to me and says, five bucks. I said, five dollars? You fucking Of course I'm going to buy it for five dollars. Pulled on it. It's not locked up or nothing. He said it works fine. Just he bought another one, and he wanted it out of the garage. Okay. And then he had a whole table full of tools, and uh, I kind of glanced at it, but didn't look real close, and he said, 15 bucks for the table of tools, so I kind of... Remembered that, put it in my back pocket. This Makita saw over here was sitting there, and that was on a different table. And I asked him, well, how much for the Makita? Did I say saw? It's a sander. <laughs> I saw the Makita sander there, and he said, $5. Well, shit, we're taking that for sure. And so he said, so $25 for all of it. I said, yeah, okay, but between friends, you'd do 20 He's like, no, nah, I'd do 25 though. I said, well... I don't think I'll take any of it. I think I don't need the snowblower. I already got one. So I started to walk away. $20. I'll take $20. Hey, damn right you'll take $20. <laughs> so I paid $20 bucks for all of it. We have the snowblower here, which I have one that's almost the exact same size, but I don't use either of them very often because I have a snowblower attached to the front end of my lawnmower lawn tractor and that's what i use most of the time but sometimes when it's just a little bit or if i just want to get the sidewalk done i use this guy here or not this one but the one i have that's the same size um but we're going to try and get it running in the video here before the end of it we're going to try and make this thing run you see it's empty mtd two cycle obviously doesn't look in bad shape at all i'm going to put it in a garage sale i think i'm going to list it for 35 maybe see what i can get I also came with the gas can, which I don't care. When I, if I go to sell it, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to see which of the two, the one I have or this one, which one seems to be running better. And we'll keep that one and get rid of the other. Now, looking at this Makita third sheet finishing sander. It's the model B03700. And one was available on eBay, sold for $35 plus shipping. It's dirty, a little dirty. Can you see the dust flying away from it? Comes with a free sheet of sandpaper. See the model number there? Well, let's plug this thing in and see if it turns on. The moment of truth. You know what that sounds like? Sounds like money. I hear money. All right, so we'll sell that for $35. Now, the guy and his wife were actually nice enough to load up the box there. Unfortunately, it's got a broken buckle. Otherwise, that plain old box would actually be pretty nice by itself. So I didn't even see what they put in it. We got a couple of hand saws here. And then, uh, I don't know, what's that, for brick or concrete or some shit? I don't, I don't do those things. We got those. Let me get this stuff cleared off and we'll check out what's in the Plano. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ta-da! Okay, the top drawer is not pretty interesting. Let me get you guys a little higher so you can take a little, little peeky inside. Well, we do got a couple of drill bits that are probably no good. Alright, got some more, I don't know, masonry tools, I guess. This kind of shit I don't know anything about. Actually, a lot of this shit I don't know anything about. Let's be honest, I'm not a tradesman. I make YouTube videos. I sell shit online. Got a claw hammer. Can I make this one? No, okay. Let's see, do we got a brand anywhere on it? Uh, 
no brand that I can see. Put it in the garage sale for like 50 cents or a buck. Got another mini hammer with a nice hickory handle. Handle actually looks in pretty good shape despite the paint. And it does have a name on it. Let's see if you guys can see it. If I can see it. Hang on. It says Brazil. Brazil. Ah, damn. Drop forged, made in Brazil. I think it says eight ounces. Are Brazilian made hammers worth anything? I hear Brazilian waxing is expensive. <laughs> okay. We got some bolt cutters. Not too bad. Except for, uh, I think they're supposed to close. Are they supposed to close? I think they're supposed to close. It says fuller on it. 350 millimeter. Got a rubber mallet made in China. Uh oh, probably came from Harbor Freight. Got another made in China rubber mallet, Harbor Freighter. Maybe 50 cents a piece for those. Oh, these guys. At least these things are still in the package. I'll be able to put them together. Sell them on eBay. All three quarter inch masonry bits. Well, there's a lot of masonry shit here. I wonder what this guy did. He was a bricklayer. I'm going to say he was a bricklayer. So Skill, not a bad brand. Copyright's 2008, so it's not like they're ancient. We probably something I could put on eBay. Lot all three of them together. Adjustable crescent wrench. Might need a little TLC. Doesn't seem to want to move. It's Electrolyte. 10 inch. Defiance, Ohio. That actually might be worth a couple of bucks. Clean it up a little. Maybe some of these rusty tools would be a good candidate for my, uh, oh, what's that shit in the bucket called? That stuff that takes rust off. It's, you put it in a water or whatever. You know what I mean. Got a acetate handle screwdriver. Proto Professional. Number 9808, made in USA. Slotted. Got the square shaft. It's not bad. You could probably sell that too. Tire iron. Beat the shit out of somebody maybe. About all it's worth. A couple more drill bits. This has a name on it. It's an Irwin. That's an Irwin. Yeah, let's see. What's this guy? You don't say what he is. Little tacker. It's a Bosch Power Crown H30. Uh, model H30 6. Use only Bosch staples. Oh, staples are in it. Hmm. One just fell out. Maybe it works. It's for screen, isn't it? Put in screen, I think. Call me a liar. Got a ratchet, half inch drive. It's an SK. That's good. 42, 470. This doesn't feel like any teeth are broken or nothing. Let's see. We wanted to take the time. It's got a little snap ring in there. I'm sure you could take it apart, maybe clean it up. No, oh, that's a good ratchet there. All right, little crimpers. Let's see, it's a super champ. Boom. I'm gonna maybe clean them up. Might be usable still. And then we got a little hand drill. 
for those of you who are fans of the manual labor. Maybe I'll see if an Amish person wants to buy it. The handle doesn't look all that old, but it does say Made in USA, which makes me think older because what's Made in USA anymore? It's not promising that I can't find a brand anywhere on it, though. It just says Made in USA and nothing else. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. What's that say? Oh, it just says oil. Well, that doesn't help. Nope. No brand names. Egg beater style. All right. That's the end of Buckrow Tools. So remember, everything was a grand total whoa, of $20. We're hoping to get 35 out of that snowblower, which we're still going to try and start. And we're hoping to get 35 out of that sander. So we got 70 bucks plus all this here stuff. Eh, maybe it's supposed for that, maybe it doesn't. Okay, let's try and get this snowblower started. What do you say? Thankfully, the gas tank was empty when I picked it up. So at least we shouldn't have any worries about old flu... Uh, fuel so we're gonna put just a little bit in because obviously summertime i don't need to fill this thing up let's get enough in that we can start it and see how it goes fuck you fucking thing well, my fucker's got gas in it now <laughs> i hate that tab fucking thing jesus christ Bad sign. Why the shit is that happening? What are we leaking out of? Oh boy. Okay, that's not a good sign. That's not what we want to see. Well, I know why the tank was empty. Oh fuck it, before we're out of gas, let's see if it'll start. That is supposed to be attached to the spark plug. Well, I think we're going to have to do a little bit of work on this thing to get it running. Otherwise, what do you think the scrap value is? <laughs> Alright guys, that'll have to be another video. I don't got time to mess with it today. Thanks for watching. Give the video a like. Subscribe for a subscriber. And I'll see you guys next time.